CataractCoach.com, FACO with intracorneal ring segments. Well, in this case, how do you perform the lens calculations? And why do you have these ring segments in the cornea? Let's look together. Now, you can see here two diamond blades being used, one side port, one keratome to make the two incisions at the same time. Looks great. Our guest surgeon here is Dr. Joaquin de Rojas, who was on our Cataract Coach podcast yesterday. We talked about a lot of important things, such as how you can succeed by working in a private equity practice. Now, it's not for everyone, but if you just go that path, at least listen to his podcast so you can learn. Now, going in here with the visco combination, viscoelastic plus the cystotome there. There we go, getting that cystotome poked into the anterior lens capsule. And let's get that rexus flipped over. And so now we go, using the forceps here, get this rexus going. Very nicely done. You want a five millimeter rexus. The forceps, you can see, have marks there. It looks like at one, two, three, four, five millimeters. So you've got a full-on ruler on your forcep tips. Now, this patient had intracranial rig segments placed for treatment of low myopia. So back in the day, decades ago, intracorneal ring segments were actually first put on the market, the Intax device, as they were called, for treatment of low degrees of myopia. By placing these in these corneal pockets, you got central corneal flattening here. Now we've seen intracorneal ring segments used primarily for treatment of things like keratoconus or irregularities of the cornea. But back in the day, the original use of these ring segments was actually to treat lower degrees of myopia by causing central corneal flattening there. So this patient's had these in for a very long time, and it's very stable. And so the decision was made to just leave the corneal ring segments in place. They've been there for 20 years. Let's leave it alone. Now, you can see here the nucleus is not so dense. So going in here with the phaco probe and the chopper, let's see the technique. Are we just going to carousel it in? Are you going to do something? Yep, just a kind of tilt and tumble, as Dick Lindstrom has described. We've featured on Cataract Coach before. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you better go to cataractcoach.com and type in the keyword tumble there. But it's the tilt and tumble technique. And look at that, efficiently removing that nucleus in a very safe manner, minimal phaco energy being used there. And that looks pretty good. As this starts to come down, you'll see more of that red reflex. And again, the lens calculations, let's talk about those. They're pretty much normal here in this case. Now, while we switch over, let's talk about retinarounds.com, our sister channel. So much great material. If you're a cat surgeon like me, I promise you'll still love it. It is the world's best resource for everything retina. And it's our sister channel. You got to love it. Now, going over the eye probe, cleaning up the cortex here. And again, these intracorneal ring segments have been in there for a long time. They're not exposed. They're well-placed. There's no erosion. You can just leave them in place. And now you want to measure that central corneal power there where it's flattened and just use that for your lens calculations. Now, this patient's electing to have a multifocal lens. So therefore, on this patient, I'd aim for absolute plano, maybe even a plus a quarter, just a slight bit of hyper. Because as you know, with those trifocal lenses or bifocal lenses, you need to hit that distance vision. So again, back, capsule bag cleans up very nicely here. And that looks fantastic. And just about ready to place the IOL in the capsule bag here. But yeah, we had a great time talking on a podcast yesterday. Again, Dr. DeRojas is a very successful, high-volume surgeon, doing great and doing big things. And again, he's, his only job he's had after his training was working for a private equity group, and he's done very well with that. So if you're doing that yourself, and it's more and more common here in the USA, I encourage you to listen to that podcast to get his input. Here comes the IOL going in the capsule bag, nicely delivered, unfolding very nicely and controlled. Get that in the capsule bag here, and then there we go. Now, what are you, should you do if you decided to take out the ring segments? What would you do? Well, I'd say take them out in one procedure, and then wait, 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 and let the patient have their cornea go back to a kind of stable shape after the course of a few months at least. At that point, then you can do repeat calcs. But in this case, and by the way, surprise, surprise, the patient in this video is an ophthalmologist too. In fact, the patient in this video is a high volume cataract surgeon. And so the patient here has elected to keep the ring segments in. And believe me, since the patient is an ophthalmologist, a keratorefractive and cataract surgeon, this patient knows what he or she wants. So we'll leave that in there. And again, at the end of the case here, you can see beautifully positioned trifocal lens there or bifocal lens. Uh, you can see the multifocal rings there, the diffractive rings. Get that nicely centered. This closet's been removed beautifully. That's a nice looking rexus, by the way, to overlap it. And yes, it's not a femto rexus, is it? It's a manually made rexus. Remember, the patient here is a cataract surgeon and has decided that that is what is desired here. Now, gentle hydration at the end of the case to seal the incision. Remember, a beautifully constructed incision should not need a huge amount of hydration, just enough. Make sure it seals up beautifully. And going through the side port, seal that up. That looks like a great case. Anyway, 
Definitely, definitely check out the Counter Coach Podcast. It is the top podcast in all of ophthalmology. The sole purpose of the podcast is to make you more successful in your career. We'll teach you all the secrets. All you got to do is just listen. And remember, runarouse.com, our sister channel. You better check it out. And of course, cataractcoach.com, your favorite.